Hello, I'm Dr. Ben Chong. I'm a lecturer at the School of Electronic and Electrical Engineering at the University of Leeds, and I'll be presenting a talk on MSc Electrical Engineering and Renewable Energy System. Before I present you the course details of this MSc degree program, let me give you a brief introduction on modern electrical energy system with renewable energy sources. Traditionally, power system is based on this structure where power plant is based on fossil fuel mainly. The power generated by the power plant is flowing in one direction from the power plant level through a transmission and distribution network before it goes before the power is supplied to the load, which are most of us or all of us, and we consider us as energy consumers because we consume the energy. And we can be residential, commercial, and industrial loads. Nowadays or in far future, we will have more renewable energy production within the system. Moreover, some of us will be having renewable energy sources, so therefore we will produce some renewable energy as well. So we are considered as energy cons prosumers instead of consumers. Now, some of us may be controllable as well. If, for instance, we have some kind of smart devices where we can control our loads, so our loads can be controllable as well. To enable all these renewable energy incorporation and controllable loads, we would need enabling technologies such as power electronics, power system analysis. We will need energy storage elements, energy management schemes, and measurement and control devices. Of course, we will need to constantly update the technologies, all these technologies, because obviously they are advancing year by year, week by week, and even day by day. All these technologies will be connected through a communication network, so therefore they are more digitalized. In other words, they are all based on internet. They are also made more intelligent and smarter, and I believe some of you have a smart meter in your uh, household, so they are actually a smart device. And of course, they can be communicated through uh, internet as well. At the end, we would like to have all these technologies to be more efficient and cost effective. We are aware of the amount of knowledge, skills, and experience related to these technologies that I mentioned earlier before, and also the general structure of the modern energy system. Based on this, we develop the MSc degree program and we deliver it through the School of Electronic Electrical Engineering at the University of Leeds. But why University of Leeds? So first of all, University of Leeds has goal rating in the teaching excellence framework. The staff members are actively involved in high quality and world leading research activities. The university also has excellent IT facilities with remote access. So therefore students can access to facilities and services remotely or online, but they also could do it through on-campus services or on-campus facilities. For instance, they can go to the library face-to-face -face and search for learning materials that they, they need to have for their modules. Also, the Leeds City Centre is just 10 minute walk from the university. So it's uh, very convenient for students to go to the city centre. But why School of Electronic Electrical Engineering at the University of Leeds? So first of all, all the research staff at the school 
are actively involved with the research excellence framework and therefore we have high ranking in league tables actually not just in research but also in student education we also have incorporated a, a wide variety of blended learning techniques so all our teachings are based on this and we also have activities beyond lecture theatres for instance lab activities seminars online group work or on-campus group work and so on and sometimes we also have industrial lectures and industrial visits we also incorporate other aspects such as accessibility and inclusiveness in all our teaching our research activities in particular are reflected through our courses through our, our modules and projects for instance we could involve problem analysis and solution solution through MSc projects and therefore students have a chance to use up-to-date techniques to solve an engineering problem then let me introduce the cost structure of this MSc degree program initially students are exposed to the core areas which are mainly developed in semester one this include power electronics control systems electric power generation and distribution and computer programming in semester two students will be focusing on the application of the core areas this include smart energy smart grid analysis and electric power generation by renewable energy sources and energy management students also have a chance to develop their professional and transferable skills through modern industrial practice where students for instance have a chance to look at some case scenarios and case studies and produce documents related to their career next time throughout the academic year students will under, undertake one individual MSc project which can be tailored to their experience skills expertise or interests and this project is supervised by normally one individual staff member and therefore students have a chance to use research software and purpose-built labs for research activities students also are exposed to areas that have current developments such as power electronics power system renewable energy sources or energy management schemes obviously the MSc degree program involves a, a wide variety of activities including classroom activities lab activities project activities seminars case studies group presentation and so on so after the, this this MSc degree what do we expect students to have so students should have skills knowledge experience with the current topics and trends in circuit topologies software packages hardware devices management control schemes or strategies focused by industry and research thus student can do few things for their career either in the UK or abroad students for instance could wor work at companies including utilities consultancies and sales so for instance student can work in a power utility company still or they could work in a consultant related to power industry or student can be a sales engineer students can also become an, entre an, an entrepreneur in renewable energy electrical engineering or other related areas such as um, mechanical and electrical engineering also some students may undertake a PhD degree 
and later pursue an academic career such as lecturer, research fellows or even professor. These are the graduates of, from this degree program over the last few years. Obviously, most of them are engineers, but sometimes they chose to be, they chose a slightly different career and their testimonials are included here. Some of them become an entrepreneur, as I mentioned before, and some of them can be very, very successful. For instance, our graduate here. Obviously, there is a lot of information of our course, our school, and the application of this course. And also, you can go through the virtual tour of our university. To do that, you can go through several of these websites that I provided here. And you can use the QR code to access the websites too. That's all for the presentation. You may contact me via my email if you would like to know about the course, the school, or even the university. But you can, more, you can know more about the, the school through this website or through this QR code. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you soon at the university.